Hi, it's Mark Bunker, and it's my friend Tori Crispin. Look, it's Tori. <laughs> and we're here at the... Uh, Anonymous Picket in Los Angeles. Very exciting. Thank you guys for coming out. It's kind yes. of dwindling down now. We've had a fun day here with everybody. Lots of exciting things happened here today. People have been here for hours. And we have more and more uh, Scientologist handlers out here, which yeah. they've been uh, you know, staying away from us for years, so now they're out here saying goofy stuff. I told DM in 2000, honey, there's an army out here. You better come talk This is an them. army? 50 people okay. in mass? Put them down. Oh right my God! There's something wrong with you. There's never something wrong with the church. There's always something wrong with you. Right? Why, why is that the case? You know? That's your viewpoint? And right. Have a nice day. You don't want to... You know, it's a, a one-way communication. Well, I'm, you're welcome to, you know, talk back. I mean, I'm trying to communicate with you, but, I mean, are you... You just don't want to communicate in return, or, or yeah, what? I choose not to. I'd be more than willing to look at the DVD if Scientology wants to give me a copy of the DVD. So how many of these have you handed out today? Oh, dozens. And who told you to uh, hand these out? My choice. It's your choice to hand them out, or yeah. so did you? Um, did you pay for these copies yourself? You have a, a satchel full there. No. Who? Um, who gave you the DVDs to hand out? Why? What would be so damning about the information of who gave you the DVDs to hand out? Well, knowing who you are, you might attack them or something. Really? Do something to them. Uh, what do you know about me that would make you say that? Well, not you. It's anonymous. It's too anonymous. Here. So there's some mysterious person that is afraid that Anonymous would... No, it's, it was my choice not to say it. It's interesting how Scientology teaches you how to be free to think for yourself and to communicate. And you uh, decide that you you have to hide things. No, I... That's your I, no, conclusion. That's your conclusion. That's your conclusion. All right. Your insinuation. So why, why on earth would you say... Who uh, made these DVDs? We know that these were produced by the Church of Scientology. Why is it so difficult to say that, Let it go that. Scientology gave them to you? Let it go with that. Well, Scientology did give it to me, but... So you're out here on behalf of Scientology? Yeah, I'm a public. Okay. You're, you're attacking my church. In what way am I attacking your church? No, anonymous is attacking you. By the protest. You, you got your stuff all wrong. Your what do we have wrong? Your information. Give us the correct it's not, information. No, it's, not, it's not about the protest. It's about who Anonymous really is. It's about who Anonymous is speaking out against, isn't it? No, it's not. You're, you're out here because Anonymous is speaking out against Scientology. It's bigger than that. Oh, really? You tell us you wear masks because of the free game uh, that we have in Scientology. And I know that before you were attacking Scientology or you were protesting Scientology, you were wearing masks. I've never worn a mask. Well, you're, 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 some of your cohorts. They're not my cohorts. I'm not part of Anonymous. Okay. But you're friendly to them. You associate yeah. with them. Well, I'm friendly with plenty of people here in Anonymous. Sure, they seem to be uh, friendly people that I've met. All right. Then you become a de facto uh, member, perhaps once remote. Well, I wouldn't say that. Uh, it's not like I've joined an organization such as Scientology where I would be supporting David Miscavige and the activities of the management of the Church of Scientology. I am uh, I am applauding Anonymous for continuing to speak out uh, about Scientology fraud and abuse. I've urged them to do so legally and uh, peacefully and to learn as much as they can about Scientology so they know what they're talking about. So far, they, uh, they seem to have accepted that advice, and they're doing a fine job. So you would say that you're allied with their cause? I would say that, uh, yes, uh, as long as they're talking about the fraud and abuse of Scientology, I support them. As you support Scientology fraud and abuse. Go to xscientologykids.org, read some stories, and ask yourself if any of those 
reflect you experiences in your own life. Uh, niece, uh, among if other that, people. If any of that sounds familiar to you. Hi, Marky. You think it turns out to be all crazy lies? We're here right? in Los Angeles it's having an excellent picket again. And I ran into an old pal. He was one on one of my earliest Xenu TV uh, videos back in uh, in July of uh, '99. Peter Alexander's son, Mo. Uh, you and I first met when uh, my uh, father, I guess, uh, brought me to a Scientology protest when I was a kid. <laughs> I said, "Why are you out here? What are you doing?" I'm hanging out with this guy, learning about photography. Why are you lying to the man? I am. He asked you a question. Why don't you tell him why you're really here? I've been asking him about his camera. Well, know. I mean, he can't be that interested. But he can't. Well, I am interested in the camera. You know, the way he does it, how he makes, gets a still picture with that movement. But I don't know. Uh, he does it. And he doesn't want to answer. I don't know. It, it sort of sounds so, well, sort of shaky. Me. I don't know. It, it kind of sounds like a, like a lie. That was the day that I got into Scientology, and uh, I believe the ARSCC uh, really helped me out with that. Um, once I went to the protest and I saw how the Scientologist handlers acted, even as a kid, I could kind of see what they were doing and I could see that it was not right and I could see that I had been lied to about Scientology. What was life like as a kid in Scientology? In Scientology, my parents neglected me a lot uh, because they wanted to go and be Scientologists and be self-obsessed. They gave a lot of money to Scientology, a lot of their income to it, and they didn't really seem to spend a lot of it on us. It seemed like they were caught up in some kind of fantasy that they were saving the world and they weren't really even able to save their own household. And what do you think about that? You've been in your Scientology all your life, but did you know that this existed? Uh, I never knew that any of this occurred. I never knew there was a protest. You're seeing it? Or anyone opposed to Scientology. Tell them about your family. They don't say that To wreck it. Listen, tell the truth. You know, it's better. Yeah, tell, the yeah, truth. tell them about your crimes. Tell the truth. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Tell me your crimes. Come on. Let's do a sec check right here. Come on. Just get, listen, get the cans out and let's do it right here. I didn't join the Sea Org, but I was hardcore in it. I went to True School in Clearwater that became uh, Delphi. And uh, I, was, I was really in there. I got tons of auditing and, and all that. And my family was pretty big down there. Decent, decently big Scientology family because they had a lot of money. And that's what makes you a big Scientology family. And the. Um the education as a Scientologist kid, what was that like? My education never recovered. Um, not, not to brag, but if you give me any kind of test that tests my intellect, it's, it's up there. It's way up there. And because of Scientology school and the way that they educated me, I had to transfer into normal school, and I never recovered. I failed, and I was totally unable to go to college because of Scientology school. Were you ever sec checked as a child? Sec check. Remind, remind me of what that means. The terms the are leaving me. The security check. There was a children's sec check where they put you on the meter, ask uh, you questions. Uh, yes, I believe I was tons of times. There was always stuff like that. Um, interrogations. And they always kind of wanted to know about my crimes, even though I was just a little kid. They wanted to know about my crimes. It wasn't sins. It was like, what? Let, let's root out what you've done wrong so that what you've done wrong... You know, uh, just in case your seven-year-old crimes are trying to destroy Scientology, let's root that out of you and try to try to hammer it out. It really made no sense. So there was stuff like that all the time. Yeah. So what's it like now to, to come out here and see uh, anonymous protesting? I, I'm I'm blown away uh, by anonymous. Um, when I, I, you know, I had a hard life. I don't cry a lot. But when I first really discovered this stuff, it it made me cry. I, I felt like. Finally, you know, somebody cared about something as evil as Scientology, and I, I really thought that nobody was ever going to give a shit except for you and me and a few other people. And um, the fact that these people, especially if they're young people, care, and I'm also a young person, it really blows me away. And, um, you know, the memes and all the jokes, I love them. They, they might not all be for me, but I'm right on the same page with them. I love it. At a time when many of ourselves and our children are returning to school, Scientology plots to infect our institutes of learning with its unworkable study tech. Study technology. <laughs> Underwater. <laughs> Operating under the guise of applied scholastics, Scientology aims to indoctrinate children into accepting Scientology's principles and further legitimacy in the eyes of the public. 
Anonymous has rightly seen this for the nonsense that it is. There's no denying that education is in trouble. That children are having a more difficult time now than ever before. However, the answer to that problem is not Scientology. It is not giving Scientology a foothold into young, developing minds. And what of the study tech itself? Surely it can't be all that bad, can it? Surely simply, simply looking up a word in a dictionary can't be that bad, can it? A wise man once said that even a broken clock is right twice a day. <laughs> For whatever workable elements there are in the study technology, whether there are or aren't, there's little doubt that there you can also find it in less agenda-driven systems. And the, less expensive. <laughs> the hypocrisy of Scientology seldom reaches as deeply as it does with its study tech. How is the public to believe the wild claims of the wonders of study tech when L. Ron Hubbard himself was such a poor student? Drop out. Failing at college, however, did not stop Hubbard from claiming credit as a civil engineer and a nuclear physicist. But let's give him at least credit for attending college. Scientology's current tyrant, David Miscavige, manages to convince his followers that he is an articulate, well-read leader despite being a high school dropout. I wonder if the rank-and-file Scientologist realizes that they are being led by a man with less education than the kid who bagged their groceries. <laughs> and education, true education, not Scientology indoctrination, is not something found in abundance at Scientology-run schools. Critical thinking is slowly eroded at such places. Students are told that any problems that they may have with learning are faults within the student and not within the material. If a passage makes no sense, it is only because the student has misunderstood a word and that the material itself is without flaw. This squelches any possibility of critical thought or dissension and creates an army of sheep, born and bred to spew back facts and to tow the Scientology party line. To steal an idea from George Orwell, Scientology is trying to teach students that 2 plus 2 equals 5. <laughs> Anonymous, you have proven that you are not sheep. You have shown immense determination and courage in bringing awareness to the public regarding the pitfalls and dangers of Scientology. And you are succeeding. Even now, Around the world, fraud charges are pouring in against Scientology. Even now, law enforcement agencies are building their cases, preparing to strike. And even now, Anonymous is planning new, creative, and effective ways to dismantle the shambling, harmful idiocy that is Scientology and laughing our asses off while doing it. Take with you, when you leave tonight, the shared valor, the common drive, and the intellectual freedom of your peers. Share it with educators of all levels in your community. Inoculate them against the false hopes that Scientology promises for its victims. Do this, and one day soon, from school districts around the nation, the united voices of anonymous, of students, of administrators, of teachers, of professors, of parents, and of any human being who ever cared about the intellectual wellness of another human being will shout with a volume that can be heard from the highest cloud in heaven <laughs> to the hottest hall in hell that two plus two does not equal five. That Scientology will not snatch our children's hearts, souls, or minds. <laughs> so before a class is dismissed, and your mortar boards are thrown into the air, let's remind Scientology just who is responsible for their downfall. We are Anonymous! We are Legion! Expect us! Thanks so much for Thank all you. you're doing, Anonymous. We love you. Jason Begay and Mark Headley and... Uh, Graham Barry kicked ass kicked in ass Hamburg. In Germany. Way to go, Thank you, Ursula Coberta. Check the links. 
Check the links up there. Everybody out picketing all day. Way to go. Thanks. Bye. Bye.